Hi, I'm Andrew McCarroll, producer of Mechanicus, and it's now time to look at more awesome features within the game. This time, we're going to talk about exploration, which is moving from one room to the next in a two. Let's go explore. In Mechanicus, missions are delivered to you as requests from your highest ranking crew members. New storylines will unlock based on previous missions you've completed. The missions you choose will affect what happens within the story of Mechanicus. Some will expire if you leave them unattended for too long, so your choice has to be a strategic one. For most of you, which mission you choose will be based on the rewards that mission unlocks. The most interesting rewards are the standard template construct fragments, or STC fragments for short. These are basically blueprints for your weapons, items, other equipment and resources. Once these items are unlocked, it enables you to use them in future missions. Mission deployment is when you decide which tech priests and troops will take part in this mission. When choosing which of your cohort to take into battle, it's important to keep in mind the enemy types that you'll be facing. Some units will be more vulnerable to a certain unit's attack or abilities, so think strategically if you wish to succeed. Tombs are traversed in the exploration screen. As Faustinius, you must guide your cohort through the holographic representation of the Necron tombs. The longer you spend in a tomb, the more enemies will be aware of your presence, and the harder missions will become. Each different chamber may offer rewards, but like all good 40k narratives, there is a risk that danger may be around the corner. During your exploration of a tomb, your cohort of tech priests will feed back disturbing and troubling information that requires your authority in order to commence on the mission. Again, your decisions are key, as the choices you make can affect many things, from the amount of enemies you will face to which faction goes first in the next fight. Each event is uniquely handcrafted for a specific mission, so you will never see the same event twice, and all your choices are completely fresh, requiring some forward thinking to determine the outcome. Ever wanted to learn an alien language? With Mechanicus, you can. As you explore the tombs on Silver Tenebrous, your cohort will encounter many Xenos devices. Each of these devices will have Necron symbols upon them, at first, these will not make sense, so as the well-trained tech priest you are, you'll have to activate these and learn their results with time. The results of discovering the meaning of these glyphs can be greatly rewarding. Receive repairs for your team, gain cognition points, and more. However, not all the choices are positive, so be careful. Your arrival on Silver Tenebris will introduce you to many dark and eerie sectors inhabited by your Necron Falls. As you progress and unlock new areas, the different sectors will offer varying challenges. From new enemies to environmental changes such as traps, moving platforms and other surprises we don't want to spoil. When you finish a mission, based on either a success or a failure, you will see a complete mission debrief. This is where the cost of repairing your tech priests is deducted immediately from your Blackstone resource. Your troops refund a small amount of Blackstone should they survive. But let's be realistic. The amount is small and they are but cogs of the greater machine. You're also rewarded for the enemies that you have slain throughout the mission. The Awakening Gauge represents how long you'll have left before the Tomb World Silver Tenebris fully awakens. The more time you spend in missions searching for your objectives or precious loot, the faster the Awakening Gauge will fill. Ultimately, when all your time runs out, there is no telling what will happen. So that was a look at exploration and the exciting choices that you will have to make along the way. Remember, you can pre-order Mechanicus right now and also buy the special Omnisar edition. This will give you the base game plus some really cool content such as the amazing soundtrack, digital art book, special melee weapon, and an ebook. Let us know what you think. Give us a thumbs up and comment below, and why not subscribe to the channel to be the first 
to get all the latest news on Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Until the next video, may the Omnisire be with you.